everyone's having a good day. I'm very excited. And a little bit nervous. Not, I don't know about nervous, but today we're gonna probably, hopefully, finish Spirit Bearer. Um, I'm gonna cry. You know I'm gonna cry so much. I cried so much last time. Like we got, we got a kitty cam as well. Just Orion at the moment. He's a little bit nervous because we have the gardener slash lawn carer um, over and he's doing the work. So Orion's like, what's going on? But he's still here. He's still okay. Um, but yeah, before we get going, going, I want to remind folks that uh, this Friday is our fundraiser for Trans Lifeline. Uh, we postponed it from March 31st to the April 14th. Um, and that is Friday. I'm so excited. It's going to be great. Um, we have lots of cool rewards and incentives. Uh, every $10 donated, I'm going to do free dicks per packs. Um, and we're going to be, I'm going to be playing Fortnite and DVD. So there'll be a lot of, um, a great, <laughs> sorry, a lot of, what's the word? Uh, chances to mess with my games. Um, also, if you donate ten dollars or more, um, you'll get a chance, or not a get a chance. You'll be able to submit a pet and info about that pet to be turned into a slide that will be shown during the intermission screen. Um, yeah, it's gonna be great. Lots of other fun stuff as well. Sorry. My throat's being weird. Anyway. Anyway. So that's going to be fun. I'm excited. Anything else? I don't think so. Oh, um, we are still working. We are six away <laughs> um, from getting our follower goal. When we hit that, we're going to do a filter roulette stream which is where uh chat gets to choose um different voice and face filter combinations um that's always a blast um so if we could just get those six followers i know that numbers have been going up and down for the last like month and i'm just like god i would love it i would love it to get there and then we could do that fun stream it's gonna be great okay uh ba -ba 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 -ba. One, two, three, Word bird. Four, oh one, my gosh. Two, three, mother Seventeen heckin' month. Oh my god, I love that. That Evo. Oh my god, the dance. I love it so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well, Word Bird. Man, that Evo goes so well with the song. I, right, it is your response. Wait. Institute Bird Dance. <gasps> there it is. Oh my god. I love it so much. I love it so much. <laughs> it makes me want to dance. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Welcome, Ian. <laughs> uh, just getting this, the game started. I finally. I finally got Minecraft for PC yesterday, and I was playing it for like two hours before stream, <laughs> which is the, like, I'm not playing Minecraft on stream today. I don't know if I will. I might, I might keep it as like a, a you know, like an off stream game. Sometimes it's nice to have off stream games, but it's really fun. Sorry, I just thought we only have two more spaces in the spirits category. We got to play it together sometime? Yes. You, you're part of the reason why I got it. Like, you and Trevor, I was like. Because I, I had for the Switch, and it's kind of a pain on the Switch, and you can't, it's only Bedrock on the Switch. You can't play Java. And I was just like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy it. So I did. And we should play together sometime. 
family SMP, absolutely. I would love. It. Right. Okay. So we met. We got the flower spirit. Oh God, that's right. I like bawled. I bawled on Monday. I was so sad. I mean, no, I wasn't sad, but it was it was so emotional. Okay. So. Right. We need carrots. We need to go to Nordweiler. We need to go meet with Lily. Oh, meet with Lily at the Hummingbird Shrine during nighttime. <gasps> oh, that's going to be sad. Well, we're going to sleep anyway. I'm, I can already feel myself tearing up. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you said the VOD, it was so intense, right? I'm glad you watched the VOD, though. I love it. I love it when people tell me they watch the VODs, because I sometimes I'm like, is this worth it? But it is. It is. Dear Stella, one Daria has expressed her desire to receive your visit. Regards. Overbrook's caretaker. <laughs> you totally feel that. Yeah, it's like sometimes it feels it's a lot of it's a labor of love, I should say, to put VODs up on YouTube. But it like I, I'm always pleasantly surprised to see like how many people watch it who don't even like watch my streams or who do and like want me to catch up. I'm like, yeah, no, this is this is definitely worth it. Okay. Well, my sheep are probably starving. I don't think I've fed them in a while. That's okay. Oh. Lily's not here in the day. Okay. Okay, where are we going first? Um, Probably to the bus stop. But I want to... You didn't miss much. It's fine. Thank you, Wordbird. <laughs> oh, man. I was so on it today. I, like, I checked everything twice, and then I didn't even switch over to the gameplay. It's fine. It happened. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You've been there. Yes. I think every, every single streamer, no matter how seasoned they are, does that from time to time. <laughs> like... Tried and true. Mistake. And that's why that's why I'm so glad to have awesome people in chat who will let me know when I am fully just <laughs> What if I had said what if it was like actually no, today's stream is just you're just gonna watch my face, my reactions as I play the game. And I'll just narrate it to you. How about that? <laughs> All right. I think I want to go to Nordweiler first. Because that's the D&D &D thing. And I'm very excited for the D&D &D game. Orion's being very cute. I have so much stuff on the the hole of the bow. But I don't want to stop seeing it off. Oh, is that a sea urchin? Never mind, we're gonna stop. <laughs> no, wait. Here we go. Captain! R! What does old Johnny Silverleg see? Try not a new character, just roll with it. Your kitten has boarded the vessel. Our pirate captain has a sister. Or, should I say, an able sailor. Someone to swab the decks, perhaps. No, no. 
Excuse me, oh great pirate captain. We wouldn't give a member of your family such vile duties. Especially since she has gifted us with such an extravagant gift. Oh, he's, he's talking about Lily. Yes. Arr. My mouth feels funny when I do that sound. A great gift indeed. The ability of your ship to travel during the night time. <gasps> awesome. How does it work? I do not care and I don't want to know. The only thing I know is, don't look a gift squid in the mouth. We no longer we we are no longer bound by the laws of mere mortal. We are free to roam the open seas, including when the sun goes down. We are pirates. We will live forever. Everyone knows the best pirate crimes are committed at night. We can now steal treasure instead of sleep. Hidden bounties to be discovered. No more Z's for this crew. Onwards, oh great pirate captain. Let's take this ship for its twilight maiden voyage. Wait, are we there? Yay, we can travel at night. Commander! Sometimes grand events happen in the simplest of places. The air is damp with mead fumes. The atmosphere is dense and the onlookers gaze at your appearance. The naked mole bear inn is a shabby parlor indeed. Its inconspicuousness is its best quality. A lot of people lost eyes here. You can smell the bloodshed in the air. The perfect rendezvous for the silver company. And indeed our reunited Avengers each came forth with a piece of an intricate scenario. Wardrick the Bard, in his research, found an ancient tome in the Elder Archives of the Great Library of Wallabool. In it, words of a very wise and ancient being, an oracle, had been mentioned by the sages of Wa Iran. Elprin, the noble ranger, met with the witch's conclave of Samar so Samdara. The witches talked about the leaves of an elder tree. And through their forbidden ritual of Almazar, awakened the tree from its ageless slump. And finally, Emderil, riding his white steed, Emderil. Emderil did nothing but argue on the internet over the merits of the Poison God spell cast at level 2. Good job, Jerome, once again. Commander, the Silver Company might have unearthed where our next step will be. Roll a knowledge skill. 18! Success! You can't shake the idea that the Oracle is indeed hidden in Furugawa. This can be the only possible solution. Determined, you believe it's time to set sail towards Furugawa to the Oracle. Ooh, all right. Wow, that's so great, dude. Oops, sorry again. I, Wardrick, will chance your prowess, Commander. I can't wait to see the Oracle in person. This is an interesting place to have a D&D &D game. All right, so what now? Yeah, talk, oh, just park the buck. Uh, we're kind of close to Hummingbird. Commander! The Oracle is a being of immense wisdom. Only the Chosen One will be deemed worthy. You will have to face the Oracle alone. He is as old as time. Watching all of us mortals. You can find him in Furugawa. Find the Oracle. The Oracle Tree. Oh, yeah, Dario wants to talk. Okay. Hmm, we've got lots of places to go. I guess. I kind of want to just keep going with Furugawa. Here. So we want to go to this bus stop. So let's go. Wow. All three of the places we have to go are kind of far away from each other. Oh, Orion. Seems to want to be let out. 
Here, Leo. I'll be right back. You know what? <laughs> Wherever I didn't even give you a shout out. Sorry about that. I I'm so bad at shout outs. I'm trying to get better. <laughs> See? Yeah, okay. <laughs> No worries, you've been slacking on streaming a lot. Well, I'm excited for whenever you're going to get back to it. And in the meantime, people can follow you. Because you're awesome. <laughs> and then they'll be ready when you get back. Streaming takes a lot of time and energy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I get it. All right, let's go talk to this tree. doing all day this operation needs a dedicated cook um what are they like they like one oh god damn. i already gave him french fries don't come back with this garbage a second time um no selfish of course let me dumb it down for you. Simple equals bad. <laughs> I don't know if I have anything they're gonna want to eat. Tuna? Yeah, okay. Freak up. Grab fire. Cool. Fish is okay, but sh shellfish is not okay. I'm gonna try to get some of this off the boat. All right, let's go. <sighs> oh, wow, I feel amazing. Warning, sacred dog feels so brazen. It's because they're, they're all listening to that. CD that I helped distribute, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay, there was a really cool tree here somewhere, so I think that's where we're going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am the Oracle. Oh. I see visions of deception and hardship. Ahead. I see loss sorrow and pain. I see hope, love, and joy. Oh. You will return to the world with a token of fact. A piece of soul already paid. An item of an immense value. Oh. An obol. But spirit bearer, this is not what you came here for. You came here seeking answers. Oh. You will find these answers in those simple numbers. Negative 185, negative 92. It'll write it down for me, I think. <laughs> Those symbols will show you the way. The receptacle of light awaits. 
in Oh, I can do this now. Whee! <laughs> I have not used that for anything useful except for getting around faster. Whee! Amazing! Commander! This day will forever be inscribed in archives of yore. Forever sung by the balladeers of the Seven Corners. The Oracle has awakened. He talked to you. His puzzle might be cryptic, but you will no doubt find the solution. Of this, I'm sure. Roll! Oh, well. No, I think you can figure this one out on your own. Good luck. Yeah, negative 185, negative negative. Negative. That's way out here. I guess I could go to the bus stop first. Yeah, actually, we're gonna go to the bus stop. Gosh, she's so pretty! Uh... Right now, all I can do is hug her, but that's okay. What else do we need for... Fuck. Ah. Which one was fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm already tracking. Congrats on the gold bin. Oh yeah, we can travel at nighttime now. That's nice. To the unknown. That was. Don't worry about. It. Bye, Alex. No. Okay. Lot of linen thread, homemade paper, and carpet. We can do that one instead. Seeing that, like, putting the leak on the, the loom reminded me of the experiments that Stanley had us do, which made me really sad because Stanley's not on the boat anymore. <laughs> oh, man, I miss him. Oh, shit, no. Crap. Not, not what I meant. Okay, 
let's look at our plants. I'm not- oh my god, am I not growing any? Oh man, and I put a bunch of linen in the, the chicken coop. That was a mistake. Man, it's gonna take a while to get a hundred carrots. It's fine. <laughs> I got Starbucks delivery. Hell yeah. Maybe I should make another um, garden. Also, I don't... I almost feel like I don't need the windmill anymore because we have the crusher. I don't know. It, it looks nice, though, so I'm gonna push it. Hidden shrine discovered! Hell yeah. Someone here. Oh, it's it's the the D and D. The oracle words were true. Commander, these dark woods conceal a shrine of immense power. Old ancient shrines have a rule of their own. Imbued with the divine power of Halterra and the Wise, they can only reveal themselves to a true heir of Rom Romalda. Can I take a short rest? <laughs> Only you, the Chosen One, can resonate with its magic. Only you, the Star Child, can wield the glaive of divine justice. Go, Commander. Cast your heavenly magic and whisper the secret words. May your actions enlighten our path. In the light time, advantage on your shield sex. I can't can read all of that at once. Yeah. I didn't even read what it was, whoops. Press Q, uh oh, to release Everlight energy in all directions. Ooh, that do. Magical. Blessed be the eleven stars. You definitely are the chosen one. The light bearer. The sun bringer. She shu how <laughs> tongue twister. She who shall enlighten our souls and liberate our consciousness drenched in shadow. That power bestowed upon you by the very fabric of this world will be our weapon. A weapon whose power will rival the thrice-forged glaive of Elfendur, the first of the Dalars. Alas, this party must split up now. The Silver Company has played its role fully, and it is time for its members to ride back to their homesteads. Also, these guys are past their curfews and need to get back home. Let's trek back to the Galleon, where I shall describe our next task in great lore-dumping details. Also, I need to take a look again at my notes. Right. Oh, Francis. Hold on. I've got a favor to ask. Yes, yes. Me a favor. How odd it must be for you. Nobody must ask you for favors on that giant boat of yours. 
Listen, as a wandering merchant, I'm always looking for the next customer. I can't really do the simple things in life. What's been my go-to order from Buck, the, the Bucks lately? <laughs> um, this this is my go-to order. It is a Vente iced chai with oat milk. And sometimes I'll do like a vanilla in there as well. I do not need to drink oat milk. It is it's so tasty in chai. That's that's the only reason I get it. <laughs> it's really good. Do you have a go-to order, Warbird? Yeah, it's it's delicious. And I, I learned it from... I just recently quit working at Target. And you know that. But at the Starbucks there, I'd go all the time. And I'd al always order an iced chai. And so, it's one day, one of the baristas was just like, you should get it with oat milk. It's, trust me, it's delicious. And I've, I've never gone back. <laughs> but Warbird, yeah, do you have a like a favorite Starbucks? I can't really do the simple things in life. I always need to be ready. Now, I have an important errand for you. I need I need you to get my groceries. Whatever their current oat milk shake and espresso drink is. Ooh. Sounds good. I know, I know. I just can't live off fish and seagulls for eternity. Go have a look. My grocery list might seem strange to you. I assure you, it's very common from where I'm from. Saturday night shopping. Two diamonds. Five electrum sheets. Oh my god. I have... I have the eggs. Eggs, easy. Oh, I need... Ooh, I have this. Oh, I am like rich right now. What is this? Oh, come on. The job wasn't for carrots. It was for peaches. Oh my. You don't want stupid carrots. You wanted carrots. You did. Like I would use carrots for this job. That's ridiculous. You've got to fix this mistake quickly. This job depends on peaches. Lots of them. Go now. I didn't even get that many freaking carrots. I don't... Can you... Top down? Okay. That means I need another orchard. Commander! Commander, I must sadly be you with a grim knowledge. I need to shed an anguished light on your essential mission. We cannot defeat the primeval, evil powers of the lich god Gorg Nemloth by ourselves. We must, we must rally into our cause the free people of the three continents. You shall light the fires of Tondor. We shall trek through the treacherous waters of the Great Sea and illuminate the sky, sending our heroic message. The fires of Tondor might be known to you already. The cradle of light itself, the Tower of Radiance, where you met me, your humble narrator. Then the most conspicuous fire of Tondor is nested at the heart of the Gallery of Sins. Finally, the last fire of Tondor is hidden atop the eternal ice fire, concealing its pure white light. But, Commander, you have to know that our roads will be all but safe. I must warn you of the great danger posed by the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan. Their master, the war chief Omgrothrog, Orm one eye, is Gormaloth's vassal. Surely the orcs will maneuver to ambush all <laughs> ambush at us at the faintest of opportunities. In fact, quick, roll initiative. <laughs> One, fumble. <laughs> you are completely taken by surprise. The orcs jump from the shadows and bellow ugly roars. The shadow steel clad will devour your innards, shouts Gomgata, the orc chieftain. Ready yourself, and commander. Some of these foes will be protected by Gornemloth, the fairy's magic. 
Only your light burst ability can shatter their protection. May the fight begin! Uh oh. Oh wait, this is fun! Wait. Wait, this is so fun! Ah! Ah! <laughs> no! They go away so fast! Ah! Ah! It char- it does- uh, The thing charges not charge fast enough. Oh well. I don't care, this is great. Ah, dang it. Francis is still here. Oh, I can just... Okay. That was really fun. Is this how we get XP potions? Oh, I'm gonna... Commander, may I interject? Your humble servant is not exactly picky. But once in a while... Gotta say this. I just don't feel like eating the same thing over and over again. Ugh. Sorry, Stella. Something else, maybe? Fine. What do we think he would like? I? Oh, no. He doesn't like fruit. Uh, okay. He has plus offering, which is sacrilegious. Okay. <laughs> Popcorn? By the seven graces of M Imalda, you coming forth and offering me the gift of comfort food is a sign of Hallow or the Prince of Fate. My appetite can't resist such delicacies. A very wise choice, Commander. I'm not surprised by your cleverness. I guess Halor won't mind if I gain a few. No. Alright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna see, like, what? I was so... I was... Yes. I was so, um... into what I was doing. I don't even know what I got. Yeah, XP potion. Okay. Cool. Ooh. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, hold on. I need to I need to build a new orchard. Nebula thread. Hold on. Hold on. I want to do this right now or else I'm going to forget. Uh, I hate it when Francis is right here. Okay. That enough? I don't know. Oh, Clank, my least favorite. At least it's like a challenge, I guess. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that was bad. I got distracted. The freaking chickens. Last one. Can't believe they let you do 50 of those in a row. Do whatever. Hold on. I 
I guess I could dismantle... Did I do all that for nothing? did do all that for nothing. And then I could just plant peaches in this one. Okay. Hold on, Buck. And I bet you... We're just gonna be told that we actually it's not we don't need peaches. But that's okay, cause I mean it's nice to cure something. Alright, Buck. Back to me. Crawling through the debris, wounded and vanquished. Gomagot ex extirpates himself from the field. I will be back stronger and crueler. In a shriek, the rooted arc vanishes from the remnant. This was astounding, Commander! Your fighting aptitude is exceptional, but there's not a minute to waste. Cowering deep in their caves, the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan are regrouping and planning their revenge. Quick, to the fires of Tondor! Alright, and... A ponder was great. I think we just go. I mean, I could go to the. I don't think it would take much longer. Then going to the bus stop. I wonder if I can get the trees to go grow faster with the song. Oh wait, hold on. Let's take care of our sheep. Sheepies. Oh, that's right. I have to figure out how to make that meal for uh, Beverly. Uh, I've kind of put that to the side, huh? Trees take a long time to grow.
this, that one. We're just gonna, that took a long time, but at least now we have one fully grown. Oh, we are here. <laughs> I couldn't see the island. All right. I'm pretty sure this is what... Oh! Oh, no! Okay. No, I know what this is. Yeah, these light bulbs. I've seen, like, at least two of them. And now we can do this. <gasps> oh, this is cool. I was wondering. Like, they obviously look like something that we'd have to interact with. But I... Oops. That's so cool. There's another one at that place that has all the billboards. Ooh, where is it? Wonderful. You did it, Commander. The first fire has been lit. You can see, you can hear the hopeful chants of the free people from afar. Your worth is grander than the mightiest arm of Rook that door the paladin. The moon birds of Waron will soon sing your praises in all the languages of Romalda. But, Commander, as bright our moment of joy can shine, we have to remain vigilant. Gomagota and his lackey will probably be alerted by the sight of the glorious fire. And, lurking in the branches, roll initiative! Fifteen! Great! Amidst the squalor of the erotic exotic. Not, not erotic. <laughs> Of the exotic foliage, you can clearly decipher a group of orcs and goblins progressing towards your encampment. Getting closer. Springing from their retreat, they jump on you. Fight! Ah. So you get the XP potions from the ones, the purple one. Ooh. Ooh, nice. I mean. Ah. Ah. No. Dang. Oh, do I not have any more empty bottles? Dang it. Oh well. Victory! The dust from what was an epic battle barely settles. Layers upon layers of evil carcasses litter the ground of the battle. You are exhausted, but once again victorious. Make a perception. Fourteen. Success! As you observe your defeated enemies, you can only wonder where Gomagota lies. He is nowhere to be seen. His pathetic retreat doesn't surprise you. He is a follower of Gwar Nemeloth, after all, and his cowardice is notable. Quick, let's ride post-haste. The next fire awaits. Onward! That was really fun. Oh, shivers. Alright, where is the next? Nord Sea Pier and Sandwich Block. Okay. Nord Sea Pier. I think both of those are pretty far. So.
ring the bell. Trying to make new recipes. I don't know how much sugar. Oh, and yogurt. It's gonna be like ice cream or frozen yogurt. Sweet yogurt. That makes sense. <laughs> uh. All right, Alex. Let's just go to the Nord Sea. Lundberg. Okay, once we get there, I'm gonna take a break because I had a lot of liquid. And also, we're about at our hour break time. No good at begging, and I won't start at my age. I do still need to be fed. That's right, I have neglected you. Thank you. Like, I, every time, Beverly's eating sound is the best. Morning, kid. Next tower crash? Oh, nope. I won't say this again. This simple shit won't cut it. We ain't playing around. Why do you hate food? Good stuff. More called food. Okay. Oh. I did this for you earlier. It should keep you nice and warm if the weather ever takes a turn for the worse. Ooh. Uh All right, we're going to get sure. Got to pause. Um during the break I will be playing a 3 minute ad to disable pre-rolls. Do not worry, you will not miss anything if you see it. Um take a stretch, get a snack. Look away from your computer screen for 20 seconds. Whatever you need to take care of yourself, and I will be right back. Hello and welcome back. I went out to the living room and my mom has started playing Spirit Bearer on the Switch. <laughs> and I'm so happy. What? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? right i was just oh i i was saying like i think i might buy it for the switch because it feels like such a good like cozy switch game you know but i, I was very excited to see that <laughs> oh actually while i'm here i might switch the buttons for <laughs> for the light burst and dash. Beep. Oh. Okay, one more for you because I gave Rigel too. Oh, Rigel. <laughs> he intercepts Orion speeds all the. You're a goober. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, uh... Remember to switch over to the game this time. <laughs> yeah, he is rude. He'll just, like, go for it. It's... It's impressive. But, yeah, it's also very rude. <laughs> the light burst, we're gonna... Can I... Okay, there we go. Oh, I, this keeps popping up, and I'm like, why? Or it is like, I guess you can, you can play, um, local multiplayer, and I guess. The other person will play as Daffodil. That's cute. All right. That's... I'm waiting for the next. Oh, this is oh. this guy. I'm waiting for the next big star. Let me be. Lock. Goodbye. Oh, Rachel. Buddy. <gasps> Hold on, I gotta let Rachel. No, he's gonna. Also locked. Yay! <laughs> let me <laughs> let me do me and peas, please. I wonder if there's a way to get the key for this island. Mm. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, wait. Why didn't I... Sorry, we're going back. There's a rope. That I neglected to slide down. But <laughs> that's cool, but also nothing. <laughs> ah, there we go. All right, back to the boat. Get that last light going. Superb! As the second fire of Tondor's lit, clamors of exultation spread throughout the vast expanses of the kingdom. The Chosen One has arrived! He who bears the light will help us all! Glory to the commander! Glory to Halor! Your heart lifts by such a grandiose acclamation, your soul irradiates, irradiates, ir irradiates <laughs> with serenity. But your mind remains watchful and perceptive. 
You know that, stirred by the upheaval that marks their near demise, the orcs of the Shadowsteel clan must be closing on your position. And, lo and behold, roll initiative! 20! Critical! Without a moment of hesitation, you jump into the fray, taken, taking by surprise the approaching phalanx of orc fighters. You ready yourself to mow through them with deftness and style. Fight. Ah. Right, I... Fuck. There we go. God, I... Uh, <laughs> I changed... Pressing the wrong button. Damn it! <laughs> we go. Oh man, that's so fun, but I had to relearn the button. What a fight! They didn't stand a chance. What remains of their shattered dark armors is promptly blown away by the swift northern wind. Commander, you are victorious once again! And this time, Gomagota couldn't oppose your strength and was heroically slain. The orcs of the Shadowsteel clan shall henceforth dread your might, Commander. Cunning they will have to prove to even attempt to find you. But let's not dwaddle a second more. Your goal is within your grasp, Commander. Let's set sail again. On to the ultimate fire of Tondor. Oh wait, I have food in the kitchen. Let's not burn the food. Frittata, fun. Uh, is there anything else we can We'll see. All right. I don't even know. Not Lone Bird. I'm just going to look at the map. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm trying to remember. I think it's like down in this area. Yes. Okay. It's here. So we want to go here, I guess. So many heckin' eggs. Alex! One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, Ryan. Okay, hold on, I gotta let the other cat out. Let's go to the sandwich walk. I wanted to come back here too because it's a cool place that I definitely didn't get to uh, explore all of. Uh 
Oh, right. Homemade paper and more linen thread. Carbon powder, I think. Homemade, uh, homemade paper you make in the kitchen, I believe. Sawdust and household food. Do I? Right, there's a sheep here. Okay. Ah. Yay. Oh, there's a ladder. Oops. That's okay. I don't think we need. I've, maybe I've already done it. That's sublime. Oh, no. <laughs> Not what I know. There we go. At last, the world erupts in elation. All the fires have been lit. Thondor has arisen. The lich god Gornemloth is on the verge of being defeated once more. But what is it? What is this terrible ruckus you hear? A thousand war horns roar at once. Could it be? Fatefully, yes. The final assault of the Shadow Steel Clan. Led by one eye or more um, Grothrog himself, clad in the eldritch armor of Rogmar, um, Grothrog, points his loathsome blade at you. You won't escape me this time, you miserable maggot. I will destroy you in the hopes of this world. Trembling in fear and apprehension, you gather your inner strength to face the enemy. Make a courage check. 18 success. The orc won't scare you, for you are the light bearer. The Chosen One! Now the time has come for you to show them what you are made of. Fight! Uh. Go! Dang it. I would love it if D and D had like a this <laughs> little standout, like stand up standees that you had to like knock over. That'd be so fun. I guess that's almost like LARPing, though, huh? 
Fuck, wait! Oh, he's gonna go to bed. Okay. Unimaginable. Through the thick mist of the aftermath, a silhouette is barely discernible against the terrifying backdrop of a gargantuan battle. All free people of the world are holding their breath, hearts pounding in their chests. A deafening silence creeps in an atmosphere, th atmosphere thick as rock. Victory! Oh, look at, look at Stella's face. The chosen one has triumphed. She who bears the light has conquered. In a crackling sound of terror, Gorm Nemoth's shadow stops immediately. It's course over the darkened sky. The Lich God is no more. May the Radiant Fay bless our souls. May Howler forever watch over your path. May the graces of Imelda sing your praises for eons to come. The world is saved. And now, jaded but jolly, the hero stands up once more. Looking at the horizon, her heart fills with hope. Her resolve stronger than ever. A chapter of her adventures might be completed, but her story is far from over. Rejoice, free people of the world, for the Chosen One will be back. But for now, she will rest her heavy shoulders, unload her burden, and once more gaze at the stars. Hot damn, I'm tired. Congrats! With a Z. <laughs> you did it, Stella! Okay, now, if you don't mind, I need to take a break. I'll take some time to think about what great adventure we could do next. A space opera with lasers and spaceships? A post-apocalyptic road war setting? Or a horrific eldritch adventure with cosmic horrors, maybe? We'll see. Uh, oh, I love that so much. Alright, we did it! <laughs> Meet with Lily. I mean, Astaria. Oh, right. Where's his powder spray? Still going. Okay. Um, let's go to Hummingbird. Or whatever's closer. Hummingbird or Overbrick. I think it's technically Overbrick, but I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just go to the bus stop. Peaches! I gotta get more linen seeds. Oh, maybe I have more. Yes. Hey. <gasps> well. Alex's music. All right. Um, let's do hummingbird first. I guess. Oh, we don't have a lot of time. Uh oh, we might not get there in time. We have to be there at night. pieces of homemade paper. Okay. Fire, it was fire glow and... Huh. Hmm. 
we do fire glow and potato? We're gonna try that, but I don't think that's what it was. The grain powder. Ah, nope. Uh, okay, in that case... Although, I can go buy some stuff real quick. Just real, real quick. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Okay. I forgot how pretty Hummingbird is. Oh, no. I'm rich now, I can buy that. I don't really care about the <laughs> and now all we need for this is the linen thread gonna go I guess back to the bus stop Try to make rice flour. That's the. Uh, can't. Okay. I guess we do. We gotta use the. The mill. I'm coming. Go so, where are we going? That's over. Right. Okie dokie. Oh. Looks like Bruce and Mickey want to talk to me about the peaches that they definitely do not want. And never did want. And they're going to yell at me. What is your problem? You ruined this whole operation. The buyer is very specific about his cargo. What am I going to do with the carrots and peaches? You're the worst partner I've ever had. You can't even get a simple order straight. My brother would never mess up like this. I don't think this is gonna work out. Let's go. You weren't ready to step up. I shouldn't have trusted you. Aw, oh, shit. Listen, let's go. I know a place. Called the Everdoor. We should go now. Oh, Bruce and Mickey. It's wild. We had such a blast. Mickey making so much money. The money. There was nothing we couldn't buy. 
Our mom had, a, had never seen so much dough. She was a great lady. Stuck in her old ways, she knew Mickey was putting himself in danger. But she didn't say anything since the house was paid twice over. It's so interesting how varied, like, the endings are. You know, like, some of them are really satisfying and like, oh yeah, I really helped this person do this or that. Or get closure. And sometimes it's just, they get frustrated with you and they're like, oh, it's I'm gonna leave now. You know? And, which is so human. It's so, like, I think it's very good that and well written that they did that. But, it's, yeah. Oh, that smell. Commander, the time has come for you to cast a level 3 abundant meal spell. I am unfortunately starving. Like, really hungry. Ricotta? Humble thanks, Commander. This is sustenance is right on time. My hunger was reaching level 1. Hey, Stella. Wow, I'm impressed. Your playstyle has been so good so far. I mean, your spells could be a bit optimized for sure, but your roleplay is frackin' A. <laughs> Even Bob was impressed, and... Yeah, uh, we've never had a girl at the table before. Uh, we're happy you're here. I'm really happy. I'll try to finish the campaign to the best of my ability. More NPCs, more background elements, more magic items. Alright, let's go talk to Daria. It is done. Stella, you are here. I feel... I... How do you... Do you like my painting? I... I need your help, Stella. Another dive, away from here. You know what I mean, do you not? The doctors, they... They will not say a thing. Not if I'm going with you. They know better than to protest. They know what it all means. It is... Let us go. Oh, Daria. I love Daria so much. Yeah, oh god, we have two already ready for the Everdoor. Oh goodness. Okay, I want to try to go to Hummingbird first, because I want to get the timing right. For, for night time. Oh, let's do more linen. It always scares me a little bit when we go through the rocks. <laughs> Just a little bit, but it's fine. Is that enough? Yes. Posters, and here we go. 
Yay! And it's silk fabric, electro machine, and steel. That means okay. Then the thread. Oh, that's hard. Oh, I didn't. I did. I did not, um, you know, the thing. Okay, hold on. Track it. I just want to track. Electrum sheet and steel yeah. sheet. Hold on, Buck. I'm, I'm working on your, your house. Gold and silver ingot. We need I think I have more gold on one of the turtles. I can let that go. I think this is actually my least favorite one. It has taken the place. It has taken the place of the um of the sign, the the logs. This is now my least favorite. This is boring. like hard it's hard to it's just hard to know what exactly like how hard to do it okay oh it's nighttime i gotta i can see your dedication to the quest of nourishment and explorer would need some to this my case it's always the circumference of the red tomatoes of death for every occasion my absolute favorite fare that's tomato pizza if you don't didn't get it Nice, look at that. All right, let's go. <gasps> the butterflies. This might make me, make me cry. Oh, right. It's our annual Fulmar visit at a tool's house. A tool! Wow, the whole family is there. Except me. 
Look at Uncle, it's cool. At the grill, obviously. Look at your face. You are covered from head to toe in barbecue sauce. And it's adorable. Mom is beaming. Oh, we're right there. We're the little kid. In between. Oh. Mom is beaming. She's so young, but so tired. Look at her eyes. Those are the eyes of someone who's not sleeping. Okay, so this is our sister. I'm trying to remember this. So we've kind of uncovered that we're like... We're very sick in a hospital, maybe. And our sister has come and is talking to us in the hospital bed. We're like unconscious. And she's going through pictures and talking to us about the pictures she found in a scrapbook. Those are the eyes of someone who's not sleeping. Nice job, Stella. Keeping mom awake all night with your baby tears. I'm actually happy mom's sleeping right now. She needs her re the rest. Plus, I get to talk to you all alone and have a drink. All right, let's turn to another page. Something from the middle. Another picture when we were living in France. Gwen is in this one. Oh, Gwen. Oh. We're riding our bikes together. You and Gwen would always outpace me. Leaving me behind. I guess no one wants their friend's little sister running around them. When I was young, I admired her so much. Remember, she would disappear for months on end and show up out of nowhere. I thought she was so bold and amazing. Mom and Dad loved her. She was some kind of parent whisperer. I guess our home felt like her home. Oh, there's a postcard on the next page. It's from Japan. Okay, it didn't make me cry, but it made me a little emotional. Just having, like, the, the that flower spirit just on the boat that you can hug, I just, that's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, I think this might be it. Yeah, Laxka! Oh. I thought she was gonna be asleep. Oh, you got all the spices right. It smells amazing. All right, let me give it a try. My stomach is basically a hot pepper at this point. I can handle it. There. It's just the right kind of tongue burning. I mean, that's incredible. You haven't lost your way around the kitchen. Wow. I can feel my sinus is clearing. Thank you, sweet pea. I suppose I got carried away a bit there. Sorry, there isn't any luck for you. Don't you worry, I'll make it up to you. I know, I know. This was supposed to be a treat for you as well. Next time. Well, then. Please have a minute. Like I was saying, I've been having this dream. Don't worry, I'm not a monster. I won't start telling you my dreams. Well, maybe a little. So in my dream, I was using the projector in the archive room B2522. Then I was transported inside the images. The first image was... Let's see. Oh, I remember. We went sightseeing in the city. We rented an apartment for the whole family. It was so luxurious. We had the whole week planned out. Museums, parks, restaurants. Obviously, Henry got sick on the first day. I remember say staying by his side, knitting. The only thing he was able to do was draw. Poor thing. He was really obsessed with this cartoon show back then. Probably just giant robots and men in tights. <laughs> the apartment was somewhere in Old Central District. It was supposed to be our home away from home. For a week at least. And then the whole time I was eating a giant bag of sweet corn. That's dreams for you. You're always a bit foggy. Hopefully if you find that acetate, it'll jog my memory a bit more. Thanks again, Sweet Pea. You're a lifesaver. So we gotta go to Old Central District for that, I guess. Uh, well... Ooh, Furugawa Shrine. Shrine, okay. I guess we're going to the Everdoor! Here we go! Two in a row, this is gonna... This is gonna get me. <laughs> gonna steamroll me. 
Especially with Daria. Oh. Oh, look, she's in here. Oh. She's... Is there anything else I want to make? Let's see. Or wait, let's see. Upgrades. Need Electrum Sheet. Alex. I think I've already said this, but I want an Alex Duffy. That'd be so cute. Okay, who are we gonna do first? I think I'm gonna do, uh... What is it? Bruce and Mickey. I'm gonna do Bruce and Mickey first. Because we met them first. They've been on the the boat for a while. Oh, it looks like Daria is going first. You got the most random craving for a soft pretzel? Oh, soft pretzels are so good, though. Well, now I want a soft pretzel. I don't think you can get them around here. Maybe they're in the mall. Maybe there's just some place in the mall. That's all I can think of. Oh, so good. Like with cheese or something? Delicious. Okay. The air is different. We've reached it. Have we not? Yes. Then let us leave. Oh, look, Mickey. I guess I could have chosen Mickey first. That's okay. Mickey and, and Bruce. It doesn't matter. We're doing both of them. The air... It has this quality. Yes, I understand now. All the pieces of the self that were lost. Well, they ought to be here. You look dejected. Do not. You knew all along, Stella, you had to. Did you think it would not end here? No, I cannot be fooled like the others. The laws of this ocean have no bearing on me. You traveled with me, Stella, and I am grateful for it. Of all, only you saw the beauty within the depths. <sighs> oh no. The wonders that have amazed and alienated me. I hope you see now that I am not to be pitied. Such brilliance is a gift like no other. And I am happy that with me you could glance at it. You see it now, do you not? Just right in the field. Yeah. My transparency. My lack of substance. I am not getting better. Since the storm, every day, ribbons of me falling into oblivion. I have lost much. I am incomplete beyond repair. Below the critical mass required for a continued existence. 
Echoes of echoes can only last so long. Goodbye, Stella. constantly oh <laughs> I'm fine <laughs> you're crying I'm not crying got something in my eye it's fine <sighs> okay now we get go back or, or are we still there yeah we're still here okay all right bruce and mickey here up <laughs> all right scout no don't turn we need to talk i've been you know how i've been want to go somewhere yes all right i'm gonna miss having mick Mickey and Bruce. They're so I they're such a fun pair. <sighs> Gotta wait for them. I just noticed the purple the purple flowers up here. The 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 butterflies. That's Lily, but during the day, okay. Anyway. <laughs> I almost forgot. Listen. Let's just get on. I can't do this job without my brother. Let's just get on and talk it through. <sighs> I've really, I've really grown to, to connect with these two. Also, the voice is really fun to do. I didn't plan this life for me and my brother. They used to call me the talker. I could talk your ear off. I would never shut up. However, right now I don't want to talk. I should just be like my brother and take a moment. Pause and listen. Yeah. And think for a change. That change. At my age, nothing is possible. Nobody changes. Anybody that tells you otherwise is lying. I'm trying to sell you something. The only thing I'd rather be is true to myself. Myself. <laughs> that might make me an asshole in the end. That might make me a loyal brother to this man here. None of this shit matters. None of it. Do you know why we're here? Because I have a small imagination. I can't see beyond my back street, my town, my friends, my family. More importantly, I can't see a life beyond my brother. If he goes, I go. Oh. <laughs> Funny thing is. Oh no. <laughs> he went a long time ago. I just. I want to admit it to myself. I was holding on to something from the past. My reputation. My house. My car. Whatever it was. It was nice while it lasted. Oh no. Oh. I didn't expect this one to be the more emotional one. It just doesn't like. doesn't change anything. Any way you slice it with still Maria's kids from South Broad. Nothing's ever going to change. Not even in the end. Mickey died a long time ago. Oh my god. And the fact that that 
Bruce's spirit manifested with Mickey, even oh. they were so close. All right, Mickey, and that's why Mickey doesn't talk. All right, Mickey, deep breath. Let's go see what everyone has been raving about. I'll send you a postcard, kid. Oh my god! Uh... Oh, they hug! I could! Bruce hugs Mickey when you hug Mickey. That's why he's carrying him around, because he's not... Oh... That... <laughs> this is so sad. I mean, it's not, it's not sad, it's, it's moving. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Oh, wow. Yep, just in time for a break, I think. <laughs> Brothers until the end. Oh. Okay. <laughs> break time! Definitely not gonna go cry. <laughs> Off screen. All right, but really, though, take care of yourself. Get water if you're like me and maybe have been crying for a while and maybe a little dehydrated. Take some deep breaths, get food, whatever you need, and I will be right back. Hi. Welcome back to Kit Cries A Lot, a.k.a. Play Spirit Fairer. <laughs> Got water though, so you know it's important to replace the water that your tears are <laughs> releasing. I don't know. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope your break was good. We got some cats. Cheers up. I'm trying not to give them as many treats this time because I gave them a lot. Yep. Go. Oh. Uh, one more each. All right. I'm hoping. Really, that we're we're in the last stretch of the game. All right. Ooh. Take a deep breath. Gotta go to uh, Furigara and Old Central. Pretty close. Yeah, let's just go to the bus stop. Take care. Wait. Yeah, spirit flower. I wonder if we get a spirit flower from Daria. Probably, right? Commander, what? Back the back real quick. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, wait, I just... Strong Commander also knows true food. Okay, um... Yogurt? My deepest apologies, Commander. I cannot accept a generous offer. Since I've crossed paths with him, <laughs> Lactograth, the knob goblin, cursed me out of jealousy. A dreadful level 3 lactose intolerance. Yes, it's a conjuration ritual. And we'll talk about what happens if I ingest the smallest dose of dairy. <laughs> okay, no dairy. Um... Praise be Hallor, the comfort. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Everybody wants my attention. What was that? <gasps> Is Jackie living on the boat? I heard some loud clangs coming from the deck last night. Are you working on a secret project? No? Well, you should probably look around the boat. Something must be broken. Okay, hold on. Rachel has maybe both. Sorry to leave you with, like, the most annoying music. <laughs> there we go. Jackie's here. What the? Oh, Stella! Erm. I have to remember Jackie's voice. It's Erm. Um, you see... It's not what it looks like. I was, uh... I was... Ah, heck. Yeah, I'm living here. Didn't have anywhere else to go. I certainly can't go back to that crappy hospital. Not after what happened to Daria. So I sneaked in and this place seemed empty, so I figured it wouldn't hurt anyone. What, it's your friend's house? Well, how was I supposed to know that? And, anyway, she's not even using it. I bet she's on some fancy vacation, right? Oh, no. Just lounging around in one of her 50 villas. Some people have everything, while us moops have nothing. So you know what? If she wants her house back, she'd just have to kick me out of it herself. Yeah, that's it. I'll show her that. What? She's... Oh. Shit. I'm... I'm sorry, Stella. I didn't know. I'm talking too darn much again. Oh, just leave me a minute. I'll pack my stuff and get out of your way. I know when I'm not welcome. What? I can live here? You'd do that for me even after all I did? It's... I... Well, if you insist, I'll find some spot out of the way. And I really don't want to sleep in the streets again. Yeah, you'll see. I'll pay you back by helping around the boat. Jackie's not a freeloader. Loader. I don't need your help. You need mine. Yeah, just like old times. And, you know, I... Thanks, Mel. Uh, Stella. Thanks, Stella. Aw. Oh. I needed this for you earlier. Just be nice for more. Okay. Okay, now... <laughs> Now we're going. Furagawa. <laughs> oh, Alex, you're a cutie. Oh, there's a rare chest there that I haven't gotten yet. Oh yeah, I need to make more electricity. Oh, I forgot how long that takes. <sighs>
think I need two more of these. Oh. Yeah, one more. Do I have enough? Just enough. Then I have to get more gold. I don't even know if I need the upgrade, but... Doing it anyway. Maybe there's something else I can get beaches. Perfect timing. Yeah, Daffodil. Me too. There we go. Now I just need eight gold ingots, which I think I should have at one of the turtles. Ooh. Oh, we gotta go fast. Go, go, go. We should be. I think it's okay. <laughs> uh, why is it so far up here? Oh, here we go. Okay, ready for emotions. This photo album sure makes you look well-traveled, sis. Listen up, because I'm going to read you em your embarrassing postcard. Aha, let me find my famous Stella voice. One second. Dear Mom and Dad and Lily, my trip has been amazing so far. I'm even making friends. What a boring thing to say. At this rate, the summer vacation will be gone in a flash. Last weekend, I went... To Shira, <laughs> Shirakawa Go on the Toyama Prefecture. I took a tour to visit these beautiful rice paddies. It was an impressive sight. Next to these incredible houses at the bottom of the mountain. It was especially beautiful at night with the glow of the moon. A little tiny handwriting for the postcard. Oh, Stella, you perv. <laughs> He's an art curator from Germany. Oh, it's Gustav. He's created an art exhibition in Nagasaki. The tour was in Japanese, so he helped me with some of the nuances. He gave me his address and invited me to his show. I miss you all. And I can't wait for you to visit me in a few months. Stella. Yeah, stay out of my room, Lily. I didn't. Wow. You were so outgoing. I don't remember ever being like that. So full of life. I was always a bit dramatic, let's say. I wonder if you want to see Gustav's exhibition. That was his name, right? We never got to go on that trip to see you. Dad got sick around that time. He had trouble walking. His body was swelling and everything hurt him. I never understood why they kept it from you. They probably knew you'd come back as soon as they told you to take care of him. I got to see Dad get sicker and sicker. I wasn't able to do anything to help. I still remember your face when you got home. For a second, it was like you didn't recognize me. Let's keep going. It's not like you've ever shied away from death. You basically made it your whole world. I'm sure you've got some pictures of when you moved to Montreal. Let's take a look. Ah! Whee! Wee. Wee. Oh, wait, Beverly. Oh. This is 
this so relaxing I could sit here for hours. Oh, she likes yogurt. <laughs> Okay, and the next one is Oxbury. I love how all the islands like correspond to real places that that uh, Stella has been to, or is like lives in. Okay, that's kind of on the same side of the map. Okay, um, let's see if I can get some gold. Where? Turtle has. Yeah. Bus stop. Gonna get the gold. Then get the upgrades. Have I upgraded Beverly's out? I do. Yes. More linen fabric. Ooh. And cotton fabric. That's all I need. Cotton and linen. Fabric. Okay. Cotton and linen. Great. Yep. There we go. Since I've come to the turtle. Yay, gold. Come on. Here we go. Yes, all right, I'll see you later. Let's go. 
So. Oh, gold ingots. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I have mail. Oh god, gold is hard. enough. <laughs> I don't want to do it again. Hell yeah. Looter's Literary Review. Looter's Literary Review presents the first of the Crow's End Ink Lost Bounty. And remember, salt can be a treacherous foe when you are made of ice. The enclosed portal land chart for reference. Right. It came. You have to check this out. I subscribed to this magazine a few weeks ago. It's Looter's Literary Review. What? Are you kidding me? You don't know what the, what it is? It's just the most epic treasure hunting magazine out there. Every issue has a very difficult and fantastic riddle to find the lost treasures of the Crow's, Inc Crow's End Inc. trading empire. They ferried goods from island to island. Before Raccoon Inc. became a merchant powerhouse, Crow's End reigned supreme. Of course, Theodore Raccoon started ambushing crows and vessels out of pure mercantile spite. The company collapsed after a few months of constant attack. Their wreckage still haunts our sea to this day. Entire shipments of valuables were lost at sea and never recovered. Until now! The answers are all here. One crows and ink treasure chart per issue. That's the promise! The rest of the magazine is articles about living off the land, fighting your dreams when you're sleeping. It even has ads for crystals and dragon eggs. It's a pretty great magazine. The guy to write it is called Casper Crayford, obviously a pseudonym for security reasons, to protect himself from fans and Raccoon Inc. Anyway, I just got my first issue. There's an article on secret airwaves that can cook food in seconds. I'm going to read that right now. You should take a crack at this issue's riddle. I bet it's a hard one. Go ahead, open it up. Oh wow, what an adventure. And look at that, you got a Portolian chart. It's basically just a pretty looking treasure map. That will help you find the treasure more easily. It's an old map, so it might not be that easy. You can use it with the projector in the archive room B2522. Go try it. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna go upgrade the ship. Stella! Stella, this boat is bonkers! It's got so much shit! A kitchen! Individual houses! But not for me, I'm not a patient, remember? A mother blasting cow! <laughs> Even a garden! What kind of boat has a garden? The real dirt! Where do you get the dirt? Is it some kind of refuse? Is it... Oh, Stella, do you, do you grow your vegetables in our poop? What? I don't know how that shit works. Do I look like a farmer? Isn't dirt like poop and half-eaten worms? Anyway, I told you I could help around the boat, and the field has given me a genius idea. Follow me, all right? Uh, hold on. I will go talk to him after I point the, point the boat in a direction. All right. All right, there we are, the field. Now hush, just for a minute, listen. 
Shit, are all boats this, boats this noisy? It really worked better in my mind. You were supposed to hear how silent it was, and then think, oh, something's missing. And I'd be like, you're right. You, you know what's missing? And you'd go, no, please do tell me, Jackers. And then I'd say, bees. That's right, bees. <laughs> you know, little furry critters eat flowers, make honey. Don't piss them off. You gotta swirt up their butts, literally. Maybe not literally, but anyway. So yeah, walking around the field, I thought about my grandfather. He was a kind man, really. He pretty much raised me. You see, daddy and mommy weren't too much in the picture. Happy Jack, he had a little farm, nothing fancy. But he had bees. They helped with the field, plus they gave us some honey. So that's how I want to contribute. Honey would be great, wouldn't it? All right, get some paper out and listen up. Bees, they can't just sleep anywhere. They need a house. In the jargon, a bee house is called a hive. That's with an H. <laughs> so you take some wood, you get some other stuff, and you just arrange it like so and so. Yeah, that looks good enough. Go ahead, build us a nice beehive or bee house, and I'll show you how to use it. Awesome. Oh, wait, I wanted to plant onions. Oh well, maybe that's in the garden anyway. <laughs> These are the carrots from when I had to make carrots. Make carrots, grow carrots for um, Mickey and Bruce. Yeah, onion. 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 everything else for now. Alright. Oh, oh. I hope there's a mirror in that cellar of yours because it's looking Gouda. <laughs> oh man, it's been a while. This is the last one. And 60% faster. Oh wait, it's not the last one. Bigger boat. Oh, right, project the looters. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's. Okay, let's look at what we need for the beehive. Gold ingots. Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> Why do you need gold to build a beehive? Why? All right. Wait, was that all I needed? Yeah. Oh, but I'm poor. Okay, hold on, let's find Francis. 
like sell him some eggs or something. I don't know if I'm gonna do those. I kind of want to, but I also kind of just want to not use up any more time than I have to. Oh! Eggs sell for a lot. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Now let's build it. Build the beehive. This very, very expensive beehive. With like freaking gold in it. Oh, it takes up one of the... But I guess we could do that while we're here. What a beaut. As always, Stellar's great work. Such great work, actually, that the bees have already started living in their hive. Now remember, bees eat flowers. Well, at least they did at Graham's place. Maybe they can eat some other stuff? Falafel honey? Yeah, better not mess with the proud art of honey making. Anyway, they're strict at keeping your bees happy. If you want to give your honey, make sure to keep some mature plants around the hive. Oh. <laughs> When the hive is nice and plump with honey, you uh, just get in there real good, and then you just wipe the sweet, sticky bounty super quickly. Got it? If you have any questions, just ask. Oh, and that makes me think of something else. You know me, I don't need much. I can pretty much sleep anywhere. But I've been thinking. You know, as your assistant living in the same common area as the patients, well, it's a bad look, isn't it? I really think you should build some kind of staff room. Nothing fancy, just somewhere to lay down after a shift. Four walls and a roof. I'm not a guest here, after all. Anyway, just a thought. I hope you can get to it. See ya! Jackie's on call room. Okay. Oh. What about sunflowers? Alright. Oh, 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 yeah, I did sell eggs. Francis, that's right. Okay, Sophie. Artichoke. 
Right, oh, wait. So where do we want to go first? Oxbury? Oxbury, maybe? Try to get there. Uh, I don't know if we'd get there fast enough. Old Central District. Let's go there. Kind of in the same rough area. Gotta give Wooly a hug! Alright, I wanted to see if I could Beverly. There we go. All right, and what Jack out? Fine plank. Oh. Let's do this first. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> Old Central District? Here. Oh. Yes. Here. Oh, wait, that's not where we were going. Oh, whatever. Oh no, that is. Yeah. Old Central. That's where. And then we'll go to Oxbury. And then we're gonna make some pine plank. in a row. Find an at okay. Is it she just said it was like in an old apartment, right? This is the height of luxury. You can order everything. I can even order fresh milk for my baths. I've been taking two baths a day. It's too much. My skin is so We're just gonna explore all of the buildings. Oh, my gosh. Oh. 
floors. When you're this rich, it's easy to boss people around. I don't even have a job, and I act like a boss. If my father could see me now, he would be proud. Oh, maybe it's that one up there. That's that one's hard to get to. Oh, wait, did I already get... Oh, well. <laughs> God damn it. There we go. You! What are you doing here? I didn't know the circus was in town. You need to get down from there. You are not allowed. I paid good money to live here. Alone. With my thing. If I wanted to see an acrobat, I'd pay to see one. Stop trying to rob me, you burglar. I should just talk to people? I can't wait to see the set. This will be another turning point in my career. Mm -hmm. Less talking, more walk. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> what does it say? Find an acetate in Old Central. That's all it says. Beverly. Did I already go in this building? Hey. Oh, wait, there's a different apartment up there. Okay. Wait. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> Damn it. No! Alright, 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 alright. I can do it. I've done it before. There we go. No!
Yeah. All right. This is I'm not good at this. As you may all be aware. I don't know how far this will even go. Okay. <gasps> there we go. There we go. Come on. <laughs> this is so intense. Look at everyone down there. Ants. We are giants. I think we're better than them. Cornbread. That's what I get is the recipe for cornbread and an amethyst. Oh. I can't feel my face. I haven't blinked in forever. Because of this gentle wind. I wish I knew how to get down from here. Okay. I'm calling security. Back up here. Hmm. Have I gone in every building yet? I feel like I have. Later. Like what? Can't wait to see the set. Okay. Less talking, more walking. I don't. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to find this thing. I've not had to look up anything in this game, but I might look this up. Because I just, I don't want to get stuck on it, you know?
God damn it. Ugh, I'm gonna look it up. Give me just a second. Family vacation. First, head to the left of town. You'll find a dumpster. Use it to bounce your way to the air conditioner on the building. Once there, jump and use your hat to float upwards. Dang it. Once you reach the maximum height, float to the right. To the platform. Pick the door inside and go two floors up. Get to the other door, use it to get out once you uh, double jump and float to the left. And on, uh. Now run right and. Oh, wait. Once. In a new air conditioning unit, five float will take you to the middle roof section. Run right and jump onto the bouncy window roof. Ah. Using the window roof, keep bouncing until you reach the highest possible height. Float to the right. Okay, I've done all of this already, but here we go. <laughs> All that again. Okay. Deep breaths. I can do this. I've done it all. I've already done all of this. And somehow I missed it. Why? Ugh. I can do it. I can do it. It's fine. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I can't see chat right now. I have to have the the thing up. Uh, maybe I can. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Bouncy window roof. Sorry. Ah, oh, shit. What? I don't know what just happened. Okay, here we go. Continue. Okay. Bouncy window roof.
it. <laughs> Why can't I get the timing right? There we go. There we go. Okay, I did it. Bounce, uh, right away from there, jump and float left. Trying to estimate being on the middle of the original building's width, you should reach its very top, and there will be a monolith you can interact with. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. <gasps> I did it! <laughs> My God. Yeah, I definitely needed that help. Okay, done. Did it. Cool. Okay. Let's go. I'm a true gamer's look it up. By the way, write that down. For me to you, true gamers look it up. <laughs> they have to. Hold on, I want to get on the way. Uh, now we're going to... Oxbury? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Who actually did it? And it's, um... Well, well, it's pretty much exactly what I asked for, right? I guess I didn't expect it to be all so drab. Not that I mind, you should some of the places I've lived. In comparison, this looks like a five-star hotel. Like, more boring. But in a good way. Boring like meditation or reading. Then, is that a word? Anyway, thanks a bunch. I'll be able to assist you much better with this little on-call room. The music is so nice. All right, we gotta go to the projection room. Projection room. Oh, it's right here. This is Henry, eight years old. Look at that! That's not a giant robot. That's me. I look so young. <laughs> oh wow! He was drawing me, knitting on that chair. Oh Henry, Bruno made such a sweetheart out of him. Before that, he was a little monster. The kind of kid who's nosy when the show is on, but calm during the commercials. One day, he just calmed down. It was strange. Overnight, he became his dad. Brilliant and quiet. Real quiet. He just retreated into his thoughts. What an odd thing to, to think in your head at night. To, hmm, dream. Yeah, dream about. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. What a great riddle. I bet you won't figure it out. I know where to look, but I've taken an oath. The looter's oath, which states never talk about looting with another looter. You're on your own for this one, Stella. But Buck, the w Buck's the one who's taken the oath. Let me... One second. 
Arr! Ahoy there, matey! Old Johnny Silverleg is right here! Found me made inside, hoisting the mainsail! As an humble buccaneer, I could ne'er disobey me, Captain! These crows and dink treasures are an old corsair's dream. If you ever need it, I can offer up me cartography knowledge. Come see me if you ever feel lost on the sea. Arr. Good luck, Cap. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I don't know if we're gonna make it. There we go. That's your first Montreal apartment, isn't it? When you moved out of the house to the big city. My big sister striking out on her own. Yeah, that place was such a dump. Sorry, sis. It was. You could decorate it all you wanted. It always it would always smell whatever your neighbors were cooking. And you could hear them yelling at each other. Your rent was probably so cheap. Plus, you were all alone. No roommates. Well, not quite alone. With Daffodil. Speaking of which, I'm still mad at you for taking the family cat. I don't remember us talking that much during that time. You were busy with work. I was still in high school, not paying much attention. I don't think we had much in common. Except death, maybe. Me, after Dad... I had to do something about it. I was trying to shut it out, but it kept coming anyways. I don't know how you can deal with it constantly. Working at the hospital with people at the end of their lives. Around you all the time. Helping those people who are suffering in front of your eyes. There was summer. Summer! He did not go quick. Oh no, this is gonna make me cry. That cancer stayed inside her and took its time. It even gave her some hope. That was the dragon. The dragon she talked about was the cancer. <sighs> but it came back harsher. Mom was devastated. Probably for the best that Rose wasn't around to see it. Rose was so kind-spirited and fragile. Losing her dear Summer would have broken her heart. I remember going to Summer's house with Mom, with all those plants and that heat. It was like a sauna. She said something about the body being like all living things, especially plants. I just remember being mad and sweating a lot. Then there were the friends he made along the way. That Giovanni and his wife Astrid. Y'all! Oh. And their, their flowers are in the room! To hear you talk about them, they were basically your adoptive grandparents. And the stories that would come out of their mouths, the cheating, cheating, the lies, the heartbreak, all those headaches. Can you imagine what Giovanni put Astrid through? But she was right at his side at the end. Even if she had moved on. <laughs> Even if she had found someone else. He was her one and only Geo. Forever. They both knew that they only had each other in the end. That's how I want to go out, sis. Holding the hand of the one I adore. I think I need a refill. Maybe stretch my legs a bit. I'll be back in a minute. Don't you go anywhere. Ooh! <laughs> this game. All right, all right. Uh, Gray Mist Peak. Ooh. Okay. I think I might ask. Buck said his pirate alter ego could help me. Oh. Uh, sleep. 
until daytime. Maybe I'll look at it again. See if maybe I can figure it out. like the mist and then there's like a little island that's two islands okay putting that in my brain I guess I could what if I haven't been there I do enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering. Would it be possible to build me a house? Oh. You remember the kids and David and I lived on a farm. We had nature all around. We had dogs and goats. It was a cozy little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. Oh. My little farmhouse. That's right. It's right there. Well, a job well done once again. Not everyone is good with houses. Oh, Bev. Not in here. Oh, right there. Okay. Uh. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. This man from my town was one of the two real estate agents around. He had just started and wanted to make an impression. He had a giant mustache and was always wearing a tuxedo. It was quite odd. Anyway, it turns out that he couldn't sell a house to save his life, but he was the lead salesperson in his district for two years straight. The local paper did a big story on him. They found out his wife was buying up all the property. She had like 20 houses in her name. The whole neighborhood was nearly empty. Could afford it. Her dad had struck rich oil. This goes to show you, you can't judge a... Why is... Oh, well then. What the hell? Della, I, I, I didn't do nothing wrong, all right? It was these gosh darn little psycho critters. They just flashed out at me. Bunch of lunatics. I'm caring for y'all, all right? You would be dead if I didn't care for you. Jackie is kind of toxic. <laughs> I should just bump them full of smoke and dump them off the boat. The little, the gosh darn, the, 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 the bees. Shit. Shit. I'm doing it again, aren't I? Daria, all over again. They're just bees. They can't do anything wrong. Daria, she... She's just Daria. I don't know why I get like that, Stella. Sometimes... Sometimes something happens. Anything. A big noise. Someone says something I don't like, or has got an attitude. Or has a bad attitude. And I just... It just gets so overwhelming. It feels like I'm drowning, and I can't breathe, and I can't think. I just start seeing red, and then I barely remember what happened. I want to change, Stella. You gotta believe me. Please. I just, I don't know how. I thought I could do it by myself, but obviously I have... Yeah, I'm a chump. I know it. Jackie the loser didn't think... I haven't heard that one before. Can't do anything right, always messing up. Just, I... I need some time alone. I can't talk to you right now. Aww. We got honey. Oh shoot, I have not taken the hour break yet. Hold on. I 
Okay, I'm gonna take a quick, quick break and we'll be back. I really wanna try to push and finish today. We'll see, we might just be doing a long stream today. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I will be, I will be back. Okay, hi, I am back. Short, short break. No cat cam, because I really just wanna try to get as much of this game done today as possible. We're gonna be going until three o'clock my time, so we have about 45 minutes left. I don't know if we're gonna finish it, but. I'm gonna try my heckin' best. Alright, um... Oh, he's probably hungry. Uh, what is he like? Right on, thanks for the deal, I'm starving. Awesome. Alright. Fuck, wait. Commander, I mean, Stella, I, 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 well, I can't believe the campaign is over. I mean, yeah, I'm thrilled, but I don't know. I feel empty now. Ha! Huh. You know what? I'll prepare a little something else for you. Something simpler, maybe. Just take a breather. You'll see. Commander, I, well, never mind. I have some snacks. Stella, do you want some? <gasps> Yay! Okay, um... So that was not helpful. Let me look again. So it's in like a middle section between light and dark. Sweet Pea, you've probably wondered where I've been lately. I've been hiding out in my house. I didn't want to come out. Just like in a small town where it gets around and the gossip starts. My walls are not that thick. I can still hear people talk, talking about me. This kind of thing, unwarranted gossip, I mean. It happened all the time back in town. People didn't seem to change. One of my good friends was always the nicest to me. She would always praise my hairstyle or the way I dressed. The compliments were always coming. And this was when I had just lost my brother. You remember I told you that story about the sudden brain aneurysm? Poor thing. Taking the dog for a walk, then poof, on the ground. Well, it was all around that time. One day, I was at her house for a garden party, and we had to leave early. My husband wasn't feeling too well. Too many cocktails. He was such a lightweight. Oh, well, we left quite suddenly, but I had forgotten my purse. I came back not 15 minutes later, and from the sidewalk, I could hear. Well, she was talking behind my back. Talking about how I wore the same dress to two parties in a row. She said it in a very offhanded way, like she was stating a fact. Everyone knows that. She should have been better then. That's what I remember. The way it made me feel. I didn't like it. This is how I feel now. Nobody likes to be kicked when they're down. I've been feeling like I'm losing my mind. And on top of that, other people on this boat have been talking about me but behind my back. I don't want to put your, yourself in a delicate situation, but can you help? Maybe do the round and see for yourself what's going on. I could appreciate it. Thank you, sweetie. Hey. Hey, Stella. We need to have a talk. I'm not doing good, Stella. Like, not at all. I know I act tough and all, but truth be told, I don't think I've ever been doing good. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, you really do get on my nerves sometimes. Always so happy or caring, just perfectly. I don't know how you do it. I've seen those people you care for. I know them because I've cared for them, too. And yeah, sure, some of them are nice and all. So Jackie was probably a co-worker at the hospital. But most of them, pardon my language, they're assholes. Nitpicky, demanding, rude. But you... Everything just seems to just glide over you. Some old cuckoo yells at you because their pudding's the wrong color. And you just... You just smile. Softly. Gently. Always. And then you magically fix the situation. You're always the first to arrive. The last to leave. And I've never heard you bad-mouthing a patient. As for me, I... I need help, Stella. Whenever I try to get better on my own, I just wind up sliding back into a dark place. I'm so sick of being angry all the time. I think it's time I stop kidding myself. I'm not a caretaker. I can't even take care of myself. So you know, I guess you have a new patient now. I'm sorry to be a burden like that. Not that I know of any other way to live. So now that the hard thing's been said, my room is a little bare, don't you think? I want a fresh start, but I'm not sure a naked jail cell is the way to go. When I think of something, I'll just ask you straight. No games. For the moment, though, 
Can you get me like some posters or something? Uh -huh. I can't stand the concrete walls anymore. I really need them covered up. I feel like I'm getting cabin fever in here. It's almost at the make a girlfriend out of mashed potatoes point right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, bronze sheet, iron ingot, and clear glass sheet. Eh. Oh wait, I should have... Crack. Okay. Alright, let's talk to other people. Is there anywhere we need... Try to figure this out again. So, oh, maybe here. That kind of looks like it. And then it was like here. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the bus stop. And now we're going to go talk to people. Where is everybody? Hello? Hello? Talking bad? What do you mean? Like talking shit? Oh yeah, I might have done that. Sounds like something I would do. About who though? Beverly? Who's that? A little chattering lady? Listen, Stellars, I don't know if you're pulling my leg, but I've never heard of that lady in my whole life. Just leave me out of it, alright? I've got enough shit to deal with on my own. Yeah, it's funny. I don't think anyone's been talking bad about Beverly. Beverly! Talking behind her back? By the seven graces of Imelda. I would never. I couldn't. Hmm. I thought she liked it. Weird. I hope I didn't do anything to upset her. Hold on. We're gonna go navigate. Up here. Hold on, I do not want to be near Alex's music any more than I have to be. Although you can turn the music off, I guess. Okay, so I think he's like here? I don't know. I might look at the map again. I didn't sleep well last night. My back was killing me. What are you doing? Are you busy right now? Not busy. Oh, I didn't ask you to do that. I haven't been talking to anyone. Have people been talking behind my back? I don't think they would have had time to form an opinion of me. Are you sure I asked you to do that? Sounds like something you would do on your own. I might go introduce myself now. Hopefully you haven't ruined my reputation by now. Oh, sweet bee. Always trying to help out. Okay. Hmm. Try to make something with honey real quick. Oh, that was bad. Oh, toppy. Okay. What would honey and
Okay, I'm gonna go look back at the freaking thing. Try to see exactly where this might be. Ah! Yay. I did it. <laughs> Whoa. What are we... Ooh. Good work. Oh, great pirate captain. What a marvelous find in the ice, no less. Many captains have perished on such conditions. Not ye. No need to walk the plank. Arr. Now we just have to wait for the next issue of Looter's Literary Review. Hopefully it has more articles about seagulls. I need to make bronze sheet, iron ingot. Do the iron ingots first. sheet and clear glass sheet. Uh, need a copper ingot. <laughs> All right.
go. And then a clear glass. Clear glass. Which I can make exactly one of. <laughs> Ooh, look at those posters! Nice. I guess I haven't... I wonder if... Since we can go... At night and time now, maybe. Sleeping just... Thought we'd it would get forward in time. Do you enjoy being on this boat? I've been wondering, would it be possible to build me a house? Do you remember the kids David and I live on a farm? We had a nice we had a dog. A little farmhouse, it wasn't much, but it was ours. Hmm. Oh Bev. Yeah. I thought it would help, but yeah, it really doesn't. I don't need to hang in there, whatever that means. And I certainly shouldn't be proud like a tiger. Are tigers even proud, like at all? No, nah, lack of pride's certainly not the problem. I just, I'm... I'm selfish is what it is. I just think of myself, I act rashly, and I wind up hurting people. Hurting a lot of people, actually. Hurting them bad. And then... And then even if I try to make it better, it's too late. This shit, oh, it, it stinks. And when you try to brush it away, or stick. <laughs> you just wind up hearing it. Anyway, just stuck with it, and there's nothing more to it. Old Jack. Yeah, I don't think I could ever get over it. I really thought the posters would help. Turns out they just make me feel terrible. But it might be good. Maybe I deserve to feel terrible. <gasps> what? No, don't make that face. I'm serious, you know. Okay, I've got another idea. I think I might need to focus on something else. You know, check out of Hotel Jack just for a while. I was thinking of a plant, but I'm pretty sure I'll just tell you. How about something that can't be built? Maybe like a little sand garden with rocks and stuff. Kind of like meditation, I guess. Could you get me that? Right? Oh. Look, Bella, I know you know something's not right with me, with my memory. But how I can think about things, I, I can't think the way I used to anymore. It's really hard. But you're here and it helps. You know what? Don't worry about it. Right, so... I did remember more of that dream I was telling you about the other day. You know the one with the projector and the sweet corn? Uh, that's right! In that one, I was looking at my dad's old film negative. It was from when he was stationed in Europe. I don't remember where exactly. He never really talked about his experiences. It probably was my complete opposite. He did mention seeing some beautiful houses. He always said we should have built our house in that style. What was the name of that place? Nordweiler? I was like, just there. That sounds right. Hopefully, if you find that acetate, it would help me remember a bit more. Oh, and take this. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Thanks again, sweet tea. Oh, key to the Norweiler house. Alright, um...
Zen Garden. Honey and meat be like. What do we need for the Zen Garden? Steel sheet and silk fabric. Sheet. Is this one's fast? At least the time in the kiln was fast. Not kiln. Smelter was fast. All right. There we go. Not here. Commander, I'm sorry to require a better fragment of precious time. I'd accept a modest meal. Whoa. Humble thanks, Commander. Right on time, hunger was reaching level one. Neat. Oh, a stone garden. I'm kind of surprised, actually. I didn't think you'd go through with it. Kind of silly, isn't it? Anyway, let's see what we're working on. Sand is nice. It's got a good, cool color. And it's very fine, but still some texture to it. And the stones, they're very pleasant. They've got a nice weight. Very stone-like. Even the little wooden rank is all pretty. Almost very soothing. My dad had a little sand garden in his office. Just like that, but much smaller. I always wanted to play with it, but he didn't let me. I guess that's the real reason I've asked you for one. Just to get back at him. But you know, he deserved it. The man, well, he was... Um... He was... He was okay. I'm doing it again. I'm lying for no goddamn reason. Mom and Pops were okay. They had their issues, sure, but I'm not messed up because of them. No, that one's on me. I don't know why I keep telling you these tall tales. Like the one about my grandpa. Truth is, I barely knew him. I saw him once a year. And when I was old enough, he tried to teach me about bees. But I was just a dumb teenager. I didn't care. And then he died. <laughs> why is she in here? So now I'm a dumb adult who knows jack shit about bees. I guess I want to believe that my childhood messed me up. Otherwise, I have my own to own up to my own shitty behavior. Yeah, maybe that's just who I am. Shitty and broken. Oh. <gasps> no! Yeah, that'd be fitting. Oh, huh. Yeah. Thanks for the garden, Stella. I'll, uh, see ya. Hungry? Taking a little breather and resting my legs. You need this chair? No. Perfect. More sitting time for me. Interesting. I need to get more Pokeballs, I guess. Alright. It's gonna take me a little while to get up to the shrine, so I'm just gonna go now, I 
I guess. I remember out of Oh, right. Well, I made it. Hmm. That was I I hmm. So are we gonna save us anytime soon? Not in a hurry or anything, but you know. Chosen one and stuff, right? Ah! Well. Is this the time go by when you're on an island? I'm just no, I'm just asking that question. Maybe it only Huh. Well, I got stuff to do now anyway. I got it now. Stella! I have something else to ask. And I think this might be the one thing that I'm missing. You know, how I never went to school? Well, I mean, I did, but I dropped out of high school. So I figured maybe the problem is that I'm not smart enough. I got all this energy, but I don't know what to do with it because I never was taught. That's an easy problem to solve. I just need to get smarter. And the best way to do that is with books. I don't care for them when I was a teenager. I didn't have the patience. But now that I'm a serious adult, I'm sure I can make it super easy. Get some for me. Letting it go for dummy. Crystal glass sheet, pulse rate, you can get rose gold sheet. And... Right. Honey ham! What did I need for the crystal glass sheet, pulsar ingot? Go make those.
Oh, it's nighttime now. Oh, shit. That is enough. Go talk to Lily. God damn it. Not quite. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Hey, I'm back. I'm sad to report that there were no cute doctors wandering the halls. Look at you. You look so frail. But even on your hospital bed, you're still gorgeous. Well, this whiskey bottle is half empty. Let's just go ahead and say you drank the rest. You remember that phone call you gave me last year? You had taken a sabbatical from work. I had to call the center to learn about it. Yeah, she took a few months off. She got some bad news. What a weird way to learn that your sister isn't doing well. So you call me two weeks or something after. Maybe two in the morning here. Your voice was shaking. I could hear you breathing heavily. Start talking about the trees around you and the air. No, hi Lily. No, I'm not doing well. Nothing, just talking about the trees and the air. You said it was cold. That it felt like death, even over here. I didn't even know where here was. It went silent, and then you said you'd be home in a few days. I didn't know what to make of it. Were you sleepwalking? Was that whole thing just a dream? I was scared. You came back and told mom and me of your diagnosis. And now we're here together. Mom is awake. And I'm awake, and I'm holding your hand. Oh, <laughs> if you can hear me. I love you so much, sis. You're not alone in the woods anymore. We're here, Stella. You'll never be alone. You've never been alone. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. Didn't quite get it. Oh well. Oh man. Oh, this is this is a lot. Bring Stella and Daffodil to the Everdoor. <laughs> oh my god. So we're not even. Oh god. Do I? You have 15 minutes. Oh god, I really want to try... Oh god. But I wanted to finish it today. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it if I do Jackie and Beverly. I think that's okay. 
Unless they're not going to let me go to the ever door. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll try. Oh. I'm going to cry. I'm already crying. Oh. Alex, I think this might be the last time I talk to you. Oh man, I look really sad. <laughs> I just saw myself in OBS. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hug Lily. Are you ready? Are you ready for the status thing? Oh. Oh, we never did Buck either. Oh, shoot. The letter. I don't know. I maybe I'll replay this game at some point, but I don't know. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to finish it. Spirits on the boat. <gasps> I really, we have to go hug everyone, you guys. Oh, no. a tool and Astrid and six and Bruce. and Stanley. Giovanni. Oh, he's burning. Good stuff. And Alice. The summer. Wait, and Gwen. Everyone else is sleeping. Oh, and Daria. I'm gonna cry so much, y'all. From this point onwards, there's no turning back. Do you want to continue? Yes. Butterflies. <laughs> you know, you're just by yourself. Play you with the butterfly and daffodil. Pressing buttons, there's no there's nothing. 
there's nothing I can do but just sit and cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry so much. No, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is like the most I've cried at a video game ever. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> I have a, a mess. <laughs> You catch me at the saddest points. Obviously, we just finished the game. <laughs> oh, Nico, thank you. I, I wish you could give me a big hug, too. <laughs> God, I'm blubbering. This game was so good. <laughs> oh, Nico, I wish. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Hold on, I'm gonna drink some water. Oh my god. That got me so good. <laughs> right in the feels. I, like I said, I think this is the most I've cried in a game ever. And I've, I've cried a lot in video games. That last constellation with the hat. I think, oh, it's gonna make me cry again if I even think about it. All the steps one takes to move. You know, I'm kind of glad I didn't bearer all of the spirits. I didn't 100%. I'm gonna be okay, Nico. <laughs> Thank you, friend. I am. I'm gonna be okay. I, uh, I, you know, like, I really, I, I, I love it. You know, I, as much as I'm like crying, like it's a good cry, you know. It's good, it's good to cry at beautiful things. What a beautiful game! I oh my gosh, <laughs> that's that's going on the favorites list. Oh, <sighs> like I was saying, I I actually didn't bear all of the spirits. 
Um, I think I had three left, but I, I'm kind of glad I didn't 100% it, so I can go back. I can I can go back and and play it again, <laughs> um, and have more experiences. And of course, all our loves to. Oh no, nope, no! Nope, I can't even read it. I'm gonna cry. That was so heartfelt and wonderful and beautiful. Oh my god. There's, there's the... I, I, I think I might get like a spirit bearer tattoo. Uh, this. This game is just so beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder what happens if you hit me. You should play this game again and finish this. I I highly recommend. I like I, I said earlier, I think I might buy it for the Switch. Cause it just feels like like it would be really good for the Switch. And I might just play it again on the Switch. <laughs> you know, like handheld mode, just cozy. If I make my face big, you're gonna see all all my tears. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. <sighs> big deep breaths. And we finished just in time. Just in time. I had to be done by three. And it's it's three o'clock right now. <sighs> Thank you, everyone, for going on this emotional journey with me. <laughs> Oh man, okay. I got to figure out if we want to um raid. <laughs> well, thank you for being here, Nico. I appreciate you so much. <sighs> okay. See if there's any any cozy animal streams to raid. God, what a good freaking game. Okay, so we have two options. Oh. I was, so we have our chicken life, which I have, you know, I think I rated last time, but oh, very good, I think, for the vibe. Um, And then Monterey Bay Aquarium, except I just saw that Monterey Bay Aquarium is doing the spider crab cam, and spider crabs are not cute <laughs> or cozy, and they kind of freak me out a little bit. Because they live really deep in the ocean. So maybe we're not. We're going to go to our chicken life, I think. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. on. Before we go, I was just talking about it earlier. I'm so bad at shout out. But uh, Nico, I have to give you a shout out. If anyone else is here. <laughs> hold on. Everyone, if you don't follow Nico, you should. In immaculate vibes. Awesome. great at Fortnite too so please go follow them Nico I appreciate you I appreciate your face I appreciate your streams you're awesome okay now now we're gonna go raid and uh, like I really I really want to get into the practice of shouting people out now again it's like I, I I'm bad at it and you deserve it okay uh raid um our chicken life. Oh, okay. I love you all. Feel. <laughs> I hope you have a great rest of your day. Maybe I know I'm gonna go. Maybe self care <laughs> a little bit. You also deserve all the good things. Oh, Nico, thank you. I always appreciate you. <laughs> I am. I am a. I am a whole mess right now, and that's okay. Sometimes we have to be a mess. Take care, Nico. Enjoy our chicken life. And I will see everyone on Friday. Wait, hold on. Real quick. Friday. We're doing we're doing the, the fundraiser for real on this coming Friday, April 14th, 11 a.m. Uh, for Trans Lifeline. We're going to have awesome, awesome rewards, like stickers on my face. Just It's going to be wild. It's going to be great. Please come, everyone, and hang out um, and have fun. Let's go Friday. I will be playing Fortnite and DVD as well. Just saying. Because um, I am an expert gamer at the highest level. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, go enjoy uh, our chicken life, and I will see you on Friday. Yay. Bye.